told you that confirmation is just an updation about the progress of production, about the material receipt, about the actual time taken, and also about the actual cost, right? So that control, the your confirmation is controlled by confirmation parameters. Mm -hmm. So see again, same set setup of setting your plant. Now see. Here, this is related to process control. If you are going for any process industries, then uh, you can. If you want to use any PI sheet, then you require. Now here you have a checks because if you have a multiple operations, right? So definitely mm -hmm. you would like to put some sort of check. Suppose you, if you have a five operation and you want that every uh, each and every operation must be confirmed in a correct sequence, right? It means mm -hmm. the first 10th operation will be confirmed, then 28th, then 38th, then 40. If somebody wants to confirm the operation number 20 directly without confirming the operation number 10, then the system shouldn't allow this. Right? So this is here you can choose operation sequence is to be checked. Operation sequence is not checked. Message on next screen when operation sequence is missing. Information. Mm -hmm when not adhered to termination error. So all these are options available to us. As per the business requirement, we can select which one is to be taken. Then also about the under delivery and over delivery. See, in many industries, when you start your production, you generally calculate theoretically that what should be the yield of your production okay which is not countable one is to one the example which i which we have taken of of a pipe here you can straight away count the how many pipes you will be able to produce okay but the industries like mm -hmm. chemical industry and steel industry they'll create their order of a thousand but their actual production based on the plant parameter so their yield may vary okay so they have created okay. order of thousand, but there there are the chances of either under delivery or or over delivery, right? So now whether mm -hmm. system should consider at the time of operation confirmation if my order quantity is hundred and I want to confirm order for hundred and five, then whether system should allow that or not that is controlled by over delivery or under delivery solvers. So here you can select. Under delivery tolerance is not checked, not checked. It means whatever quantity you want to take or withdraw, that system will allow you. Here, error when quantity falls below under delivery tolerance. Okay. So, system will generate an error message. Warning if it falls below the tolerance. Again, this is simply about the not allowing. If allowed it, then error message and uh, the next one is about the warning message. Similarly, over delivery tolerance is not checked. Error when over delivery tolerance is exceeded. If I suppose I gave a, a tolerance of 10% and my order size is of 100. So up to 110, the 10% 10 of 100, up to 110 system will allow me to take a material receipt. Okay. And if I select error, then if I try to post the goods more than 110, then system will straight away show me error message. Okay. okay. Then the then result recording. Result recording is about if you want to record some sort of result at the time of operation, then it should be allowed it or not. Then at the time of confirmation, do you want to allow the goods movement? Good summit is simply material issue and material receipt. So, yeah, yeah, I'll say, yeah, good summits are allowed. Now, at the time of operation confirmation, when we'll go for operation confirmation, you'll see that you'll find some proposed values, right? 
now ideally my time to produce 100 quantity is 6 hours this is idle time so what system will do at the time of confirmation system will display same time in actual also because it is a proposal if you want to accept it you can save it if you don't want to accept it you can change the that time and again you can save it right so here system can propose or, or uh, some uh, uh, some uh, details related to dates quantity and all that now as i told you that uh, 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 when you go for a order confirmation either you will be doing partial confirmation or final confirmation okay partial confirmation is when you are not posting your total order quantity if you are posting your total order quantity system will consider that confirmation as a partial confirmation so in your confirmation screen you can mark a type of confirmation default with the help okay. of this partial or final or automatic final that is in background okay so system will take this as a default but if you want to change it there is a, there uh, there is a provision to change right now see now about the error handling this is one of the important part related to order execution now see when we talk about lot we talk lot about the automation we want that when i confirm the order uh, in system uh, in background system should uh, use the back flushing concept and system should post the goods issue also will put a, a control key pp03 which says automatic goods receipt so receipt as well as issue will be booked at the time of confirmation in background right but suppose there is a error in good movement when i confirm my operation at that time according to the requirement i need a 100 quantity let's say let's take again that example of a car we need a five tire for one car assembly and we want to confirm the quantity of 100 so ideally we need 500 tires right but in your fin stock in your SAP stock, this 500 tires are not available. Only 450 tires are available. Okay. So, in this case, what will happen? System will give an error message about the goods issue. Right. Now, that error message. Now, what do you want to do? Do you want that instead of missing quantity, confirmation should take place? First scenario. Second, if there is an error in good movement, then confirmation should be blocked. Okay. And suppose if you mm -hmm. allow the confirmation uh, and your good movement gets failed. Okay. So, how would you know? Because everything is working in background. So, for that purpose, in SAP, there is one transaction called COGI, C-O-G-I. In COGI, you you will have uh, all the complete list of all failed transactions. Okay, and from that transaction, you can straight away post your goods issue against the same order. So it is a kind of parking. If there is an error, that error the and that complete record will be stored somewhere, and later on you can rectify that error. Okay, it is available in okay. PP only. In normal case, let's say mm -hmm. if you want a metal from a store and you'll give mm -hmm. a reservation to a store team and metal is not available in a store, then simply a store team will want to post it here because in your confirmation, you are confirming your production, you are taking a goods receipt and you are also doing the goods issue. Okay, so in order to handle this type of scenario system has provided a transaction called kogi where all error record will be handled now what do you want here so let's say error handling good movement if there is an error in good movement then what system should do if i want system should 
allowed to confirm the production order then i'll keep as it is if i want that a control if i want uh, a control if there is error in good movement then confirmation should also stop then i'll simply select termination of incorrect good movement so system won't even allow me to confirm the operation however if i remove this then system will allow me to confirm the operation and the failed transaction will be recorded in in cogi kogi okay okay now see these all are related to proposals quantity proposal proposal date level is proposal now it is possible that when you confirm your operation and let's say your expected yield was of 100 pieces in a day but somehow you missed that target and you only produced 90 pieces okay now in this mm -hmm. case if you want to enter a reason for this variance so that the reason can be created here in config like machine malfunctioning operating error defective material okay so now what will happen when you go for operation confirmation and if your yield is less then you can choose a valid reason from f4 option okay okay